and welcome to a brand new Azure vlog. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing fine. So in this video, I would like to talk about live streaming and not live streaming of a video, but live streaming of data in Microsoft Sentinel, which can be very helpful in certain situations. Imagine you are working at a company and that company is under attack. You are chasing the attacker in the digital world and you have an idea of the IP address that he's being using. As soon as that IP address pop up somewhere, you want to get notified, being it a sign in in the Azure portal, a sign in in office or a deployment of a resource or something in the uh, Windows event log. As soon as that IP address is visible uh, in some of the tables, you want to get notified because that is where the attacker was most recently. That is exactly what we can do with live streaming in Microsoft Sentinel. We can configure a KQL query and as soon as something happens in your environment that matches with that KQL query, you will get a notification. And that's very helpful if you are chasing a, a attacker, but it can also be very helpful if you are testing a KQL and you want to see on what data it, uh, it triggered and what the result actually is. So let's grab a good cup of coffee and I'll show you around. That was a very good cup of coffee. Coffee and cybersecurity is, I think, uh, one of the best combinations in, uh, in the world. So let's talk about that live streaming feature in, uh, in Microsoft Sentinel for, uh, for a minute. It is part of the hunting experience. So for hunting, we can configure all kinds of uh, queries and we can schedule them and as soon as they hit, um, well, we can do a, a hunting investigation that's mostly based on a hypothesis. So if I switch to my desktop, I have already opened a, uh, a Sentinel workspace over here. And if I click on hunting over here, that brings me to the hunting experience. I can configure my hunts over here. I could do all kinds of, uh, of stuff. But there is also a thing over here called live stream. And here I can configure my live stream. So I can set up a new live stream. Let's say I want to watch for sign in logs. Sign in logs. Let me sign in logs limit 100. And as soon as something logs in somewhere in my uh, I, in my environment, I will get a notification. I have saved it right now. And when I click play, my session is running. And that means that as soon as something is ingested into the sign in logs table, I will get a notification. And as soon as I am around in the Microsoft Sentinel workspace, I will see that notification. That's very helpful if I'm chasing an attacker. I can configure my KQL query over there with the indicators of compromise that the attacker is being uh, using. And as soon as we see that data popping up somewhere, we will get a notification and we know the exact location in our digital world where the attacker is at that moment. So I have 
just run a sign in on my uh, my second screen over here and that will generate a sign in log so let's wait a moment until uh, the the log is ingested and we will see the notification in microsoft sentinel okay so we here we now have uh, two results i can open my live stream and i can see all the the things that just uh, occurred I failed sign into the Azure portal and some success uh, attempts. And here is the uh, the notification, uh, um, which allows me to get notified when something uh, happening. A great handy feature from the live streaming uh, feed is that we can directly convert our results into hunting bookmarks, which are bookmarks of data entries in Microsoft Sentinel, which we can add to uh, to our hunting uh, stuff, but also to our incidents. So if I switch over to my desktop, I can, let's say for example, these are two bookmarks. I can mark them here as bookmark, sign in logs, event time right now, entity mapping, I can map some uh, entities if I want to. So for account, I can map the full name to uh, uh alternate sign in name over here i can add uh tactics and techniques and when i click create my hunting bookmarks are uh, are created and there's also an option to add the hunting bookmark to one new incident or uh, existing incidents so if we go to the sentinel portal we go to hunting we have a overview of our bookmarks over here. As soon as I select my bookmark and I navigate all the way to the side, we have the three dots over here and I can say add to existing incident. I can quite easily add it to my incident so I can enrich my incident. So imagine the situation where your company is under attack and you are chasing the attacker. You can create a incident in Microsoft Sentinel and you can add all those bookmarks to your incident to keep track of where the attacker was and have it contained in an incident, which I think is very helpful in, in managing the incident. So in this video, you saw how we use the live streaming feature in Microsoft Sentinel. As I started this video, it's not about live streaming a video, but about live streaming data in Microsoft Sentinel. As soon as the data streams into Microsoft Sentinel and you have a query configured that gets out the, the nitty grits that you need to know about, you will get a notification of data that you have a query set up for being ingested into Microsoft Sentinel. We can also use the streaming feature to create bookmarks. Bookmarks are actually data points that you have marked as a bookmark and you can easily add them to your Sentinel or use them in investigations or whatever. So I hope you like this content. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. Of course, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you will get a notification when I upload a new video. And of course, I'll hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Mm hmm.